Hey, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick workaround or tip for how to use ChatGPT to create some sales materials and marketing materials for a course or a planner like our, our one of our PLR planners that you're going to sell. And the issue that you've got is getting ChatGPT to actually look at the content because when it looks at the content, that's how it's going to get the context for creating any marketing materials for you that are really customized to that and on target. So what you need to do is first open up ChatGPT, click on ChatGPT4, so you need to have the Plus account for this, which is about $20 a month or so. And that way you can enable the plugins. So you're going to go to ChatGPT4 and click on plugins. And then right now I have some enabled. You can have up to three. And you're going to need the mixer box chat PDF and the link reader ones. I also have something called uh, Prompt Perfect enabled right now, but I haven't tried that out yet. If you don't see them there, you can go into the plugin store at the bottom and then just search the plugins. So you would, uh, they'll, it'll load up the most popular ones first and you would just put in say mixer box and it'll show some different ones because they come up, they have other ones for looking at video and podcasts as well. And this is going to enable chat GPT to actually look at your materials and summarize them. The link reader one is what you need for it to actually look at the link. And I'll show you how to find that or how to actually give it a link for it to look at that has all your contents. So make sure that you have loaded those, you have them all enabled, and then you need to create a PDF of any of the materials you want it to look at. So I'm going to open up the planner, our planner on uh, planning a new website. And I already did some editing of it. That's something you're going to need to do. So I added my logo. I took out the front page. I added a little something about myself. I changed some colors, added a little call to action for something you could make it one of your courses or our website planning workshop so that you can upsell that and go through and make any other edits you want, including at the end, having a call to action as well. So I did that right at the end. You can see all the content in here. So it's going to be able to read all of this once it's in a PDF format. So I put that at the end as well. And then what you need to do is download that as a PDF. So you'll see at the top, there's something called share. Um, that would be right here. And you'd go to download and then pick PDF. So it could be PDF standard, PDF print. I would normally do PDF and then you click download. I've already done that and downloaded it so that we can go straight to the next stage, which is to go to a website called, let me move myself over, tmpfiles.org. So temp files. This is a way for you to upload a file and then just have a temporary URL for it. So I would go and grab my, uh, my PDF. I'm looking at my other window, which has my PDF here and I drop, drag and drop it in and then click upload. It will upload it. It'll just take a second because of having so many things at once. And then I'll right click on that URL. It gives me copy the link address and go back over to ChatGPT where I will be able to give it the link. Now, rather than doing that all here so that you can see it quickly, I have already put all the prompts into another chat so you can see how I did it. So I'm gonna go back up to the top and I said, act as an expert copywriter for authors. So I'm assuming I'm maybe going to be selling this planner on Amazon as a physical printed planner and I need a description of it. 
So I said, act as an expert copywriter for authors. I have created a planner to help people plan their new websites, and I need help writing a description for the Amazon listing. Write three different short descriptions based on the contents of the planner, which are here. And then I put in the temporary file, which the URL does expire after 60 minutes. So if you needed to do this again, you might have to provide another, uh, if you continued the chat, say tomorrow, you'd have to give it a new URL. And I said, use the mixer box chat PDF plugin to read the planner contents before you write the descriptions. And please write in a confident tone, conversational writing style, English language. So you always want to tell it what tone. So it went and it used the mixer box chat PDF to look at the whole planner and read all the contents and said, based on the contents of the planner, here are three descriptions for your Amazon listing. And it gave me three different descriptions. And actually, they're pretty good. Like number two says, planning a new website. Our website content planner is your ultimate guide. It's a seven-step process that helps you define your website's purpose, identify your target audience, and establish your unique value proposition. It also assists you in choosing a domain name and planning the content for each page, including visuals, videos, and internal links. Whether you're a novice or a pro, this planner is a must have a tool for creating an effective website. So I could easily work with that. You want to make sure that what it says it covers, it really does cover, because sometimes when chat GPT doesn't have all the information, it will kind of make things up. So always check that. So you could pick those, tweak it, make it your own. I just continued on. I said, great, I'll go with the second one. Can you now write a one sentence description that entices visitors to my sales page to read further? Write in a confident tone, conversational writing, etc. It gave me one. I meant to ask it to add more, give me more options. You should always ask for several options. That's okay. You just continue the conversation. So I said, can you give me five more options? And it did. And you know, I've got transform your website's ideas, your website ideas into reality, whether our website content planner, or the only guide you'll need to create a compelling and successful site. So that, for instance, that one's a good start. I could ask for some synonyms instead of using compelling or successful. I could ask it to rewrite it and have more creative examples. But you can see now how you get a starting point. And then I want some social media posts. So I said, I'll go with the second one. Now write 20 short social media posts that share a tip on website planning. So I want these posts to not be all promotional. I want them to be educational tips. So they start engaging people. And I can even say engaging. So I said, based on the content in the planner, and I want a placeholder for a link to my sales page. Include hashtags, avoid overly promotional words like revolutionize, game changer, and next level. Because that's another thing, You, if there are certain words you don't want it to include, make sure you tell it. Be really, really hyper-specific. And the more you do this, the more you'll see what extra instructions you need to give it. Always think ahead. And if you have an idea of you what you want it to do and how you want things formatted, tell it. And I said, use a friendly and conversational tone. So it used the plugin again, Mixerbox chat, ch chat PDF, and looked at the planner, looked at all the contents, and gave me 20 posts. And I thought, eh, they're a little bit blah, and I'm going to have to add images. Let's see if I can get more details out of it. So I said, okay, suggest emojis I could add to each post along with possible images. You know, finding images is one of the toughest things I find personally when I'm creating, say, a Canva post, just putting in the right search terms. So you can ask ChatGPT to suggest images, and then you could use that to search for them. So it gave me a bunch with emojis. I'm not going to use all these emojis. I'm not going to use these as is. But it also had, say, image suggestions, a dart hitting the bullseye. I could ask it for more creative ones, and it will be more creative. So it's got emojis, you know, define your unique value proposition, what sets your website apart from the rest. So just a question. And you could change that to just be a question to get some engagement. You can ask this to do longer posts. So uh, I could say something like, you know, what are 20 more creative tips? So I'll do this one live. What are 20 more creative tips on website planning that I could post on social media along with? creative images 
I haven't tried it. I don't know what's going to come out, but let's see. And it's working away. It's using the chat GP chat PDF plugin again to look at the content. So it's naturally going to do that, or you could do it. So it's come up with some other things, how creative it is. I don't really know. But for instance, number two is pick the top three benefits that will get your customers taking the goal action you decided on earlier. Now that doesn't mention website planning, so that would be a problem. It wouldn't be a good one to post on social media, but you are the judge. You go through, you change it, look at images. And this is the sort of thing you could also give to a virtual assistant and say, okay, can you go use these and create, um, Canva images for each one of them that I can post on social media. Or you, if you have a virtual assistant, you can train them in how to use ChatGPT to come up with these. And then you just vet them, let, vet the, the results to make sure they're what you want posted. So a combination of a virtual assistant and the ChatGPT assistant for your virtual assistant will really speed things up and you can get some, some great content out of that. And when you actually need to do it, you don't have to manually copy the whole thing. There's a little clipboard here and you can just copy that and go over to something like a, a notepad or, you know, cause that strips out formatting. So things like this, this is just notepad and windows and I can just go control V and they're all there. Or you can go into a Google doc that you can easily share with other, with people in your team. So hopefully that was helpful and it gave you some ideas. Again, the plugins I used were Mixerbox, chat PDF and link reader and that tempfiles.org. I'll put those in the description of this video or in a comment to help you out. All right, take care and let me know any tips that you have as well for using plugins or just chat PDF, chat GPT in general. Take care.